Hello, I'm Ducata. Welcome to my pond. These are exciting times for the edge of airport in Cornwall. Why? Because finally we have the first commercial aircraft that just arrived. Came all the way from the top of the Scotland, it seems, from Wick, three hours flight, carrying 26 passengers and picking up 29. Very exciting. As you might remember, what we did is expand this section of the airport with a new runway for us to have uh, commercial flight capabilities. We also built uh, how many? Six stands in total, it seems. But we only allowed the first one with uh, one of my favorite airline companies, Forest Air. We have a bunch of executive people working with us, and most importantly, Rupert Patsy, the CEO, this nice little plant, this very uh, serious dark uh, wood uh, floor. All right, let's get to it. In this episode, we shall enable all the other commercial stands and uh, let's see if we can start making some serious money here. General aviation side is kind of running itself. The runway condition is a little bit low, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. We are going to regenerate it so we don't have to worry too much about that. We also built another a second anger for the commercial side of things. So hopefully now we can deal with the emergency a little bit better. Let's go. Parking. 20 parking spaces available. All right, so this is very low for now. Uh, because I was thinking of, uh, as you know, we can uh, tweak the fees. And one of the fees you can tweak, I believe, uh, somewhere. Yes, parking fees, short-term parking, long-term parking. So we might come back to, to do that. I'm going to tweak uh, a little bit of the of the fees for the... Oh no, I already done that. Yeah, let, let, let's not uh, mess uh, too much with this uh, yet. All right. So we have one check-in gate and one boarding gate. So we're going to... Put down some uh, seating for people to wait uh, to board. Let's go with the double row large one. How do we want to do this? Uh, let's put it uh, right here. Just one for now. And then we'll take it from there. Also, we have discovered that uh, when we enable the stand, the entry and the exit are going to be exactly opposite of the pedestrian crossing. Which means we can already preemptively remove uh, the little walls. Because that's a quirk of this game. You have to, to have this tile uh, removed. Uh, you can probably put doors in there. I'm not going to bother for now because I am uh, money conscious since we did spend a lot of money last time to build uh, all this infrastructure. Oh, here we go. Flight uh, is about to depart. Can I click it like this? Yes, I can. But apparently, I can't uh, move away his uh, car here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted a little bit. Just excited about uh, the new little uh, sub... Uh, 340. Let's uh, just witness uh, the departure. So this uh, runway is number 18 because uh, it's a south facing runway. So this one uh, 18 stands for 180 degrees. So on the other side it's gonna be the reverse which is 360 degrees. Hey, whee, there we go. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's get to work. Let's get to work. So, desks, boarding desk. So this one we put uh, like this, I believe. Yes, and we are gonna do the same 
on this side. I wish that the red overlay made things a little bit easier to see. So I have to go on this side of the pedestrian crossing. Very good. One. Two. Oh. Oh yeah, of course, we need uh, to extend the secure zone. So, security. Secure zone. Extend it like that. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Boarding desk. Small. Back. Done. Beautiful. And now we also want to put down some uh, seating. In this case, I went uh, the next tile down one space away so let's uh, keep the system going there we go wow this airport is gonna explode with uh, with people so I am uh, sort of um, consciously creating possible bottlenecks so I'm not gonna expand uh, the security uh, checkpoint nor the exit. I want to see how much of a problem it becomes if we enable all these flights at the same time. And then we just take it from there. This is uh, an effort uh, not to spend too much. And just uh, increase the capabilities of the airport as we see problems arise. Very good. How many contractors do we have? We have... Uh, 10 contractors deployed. I think it's, it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. As you can see, they're kind of uh, constructing things quite fast. We are also going to put in some more uh, restrooms and toilets and whatnot inside of the terminal and possibly a shop. Speaking of that, we need to figure out what we're going to do with the research because to have shops and cafes we need to complete certain types of uh, projects. Last time, apparently, we finished uh, with the fuel for the commercial airplanes. So this is definitely something we can put in. Next project is gonna be... Now, baggage handling, we're gonna wait on it for a while. Also because I believe we need the, the medium uh, boarding desks. And for the medium boarding desk, uh, probably the commercial, the extended commercial license. No, actually no. Medium aircraft permit uh, gives us medium stand. All right. So we don't need to worry about our baggage uh, capabilities yet. But what we can do though is get some franchises in. So franchise shops and franchise cafes. Now, I would argue that maybe the cafe takes priority. We could go about uh, either way, because I know of like, very small regional airports that either have a little shop that maybe also sells uh, drinks, or just a very tiny cafe. Requires a hired strategy director. All right, so that's another executive that uh, we need to hire if you want to do this. Management, structural engineering, this is for the concrete stuff. Let's not worry about that now. We can get better fuel trucks and uh, medium fuel depots, but I think it's a little bit overkill. Remote stand service, uh, so this allows for a shuttle bus to pick up passengers and take them to stands that are remote, as the name suggests. Um, we don't need them yet, we have enough stands. Emergency response unit. Extended is subway, aircraft cabin cleaning, catering service, de-icing. Yeah, it seems that uh, these uh, advanced services, they're not quite used by small aircraft. So maybe this is something we should um, think about when we get the medium uh, permit. So let's go for... Advanced Runway Lightning. Yeah, let's go for this one, just to improve uh, the airport uh, overall. 
we only required one person we have zero available the other one is uh, working in upkeep cost reduction which is great so we're good in the meantime as you can see we have uh, built uh, everything basically so now here in this stand uh, Not of the stand status while assigned aircraft exist in world. Oh wait, is there a GA air aircraft? It must be. Yes, GA. Why are they arriving here? I I, I thought I said uh, not to allow for general aviation, which I did. How did it get there? Can you please? Uh, not be there. Is miss aircraft. We'll terminate current turnaround fraud. Hmm. Let's get back to it while in the meantime. This is a little bit strange. What if we simply link uh, these things together? Arrival runway not connected, departure runway not connected. Why? It is absolutely connected. Oh, there is a cow on the runway, by the way. So this is another problem. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> this is another problem. We need to put in some fencing, otherwise we're gonna have issues with the, with the cow. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. I am not quite sure. Why does it say that it's not connected? I just turn it off. Ah, sign airport, uh, airplane is at the airport. Very strange. Okay, these ones we can change. So, yeah, this one also says that the assigned aircraft is at the airport. I think we need to allow GA for a second so that this guy can uh, can go away. There we go. Now we can... Yeah, here comes another one. There is a queue of GA aircrafts here. I suppose that that's what's happening. All right. So we need new contracts. And now this one is connected correctly. This one can be connected as well. Very good. Let's connect all of them. So now can we dismiss this aircraft? and change this one real fast. Please, uh, please go. All right. So all of them now are commercials. Let's double check. Done, 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 done. All right. And after this guy goes away, we're going to turn off the GA from the runway. Yeah, this is a little management uh, problem for uh, for Rupert Patsy to to solve. Little quirks of the aircraft, uh, sorry, airport CEO. What was this? The Baron Fifty Eight. One of my faves. All right, so let's turn this off immediately. There we go. There is no stands uh, for GA anymore. Everything has been constructed, and now we need... Uh, oh, wait a second. 
Oh yeah, of course. Uh, we need to hire. We need to hire some. Um, what are they called? Uh, applicants. Uh, the passenger service agent. We need some of those. Okay, 14 per hour, 17, 9.6. Kanasato, you're pretty good. I will hire you. We have five, but it's very unskilled. This one, we can train uh, Saint de Jong a little bit, I think. And uh, two of them are going to operate the information desk, I believe. Then we need uh, somebody for the check-in and from the and for the boarding. Let's get uh, Mi Mikal Michal Novotny. Actually, Zhang Min Li. Zhang Min Li. And uh, yes, sure, Michal Novotny. So this should be more than enough. Now, do we have uh, security agents? Yes. Awesome. What else do we need? Janitors, we have one. It's fine for now. Service technician, we also have one. Mr. Danis. Executives. So executives, uh, we could be thinking about getting the strategy director, I believe it was, to unlock the franchises. Yeah, let's take a look since we're here. Executive, strategy, director, there it is. Hmm. Why don't we go with somebody very cheap this time, just to unlock the feature, and then we take care of her training later. Samantha Lam, I hire you. Welcome. Welcome to the Ojog, Ojog Airport. Ojog. <laughs> The Edgehog Airport. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's time to get some new contracts. Which we can do in operations, maybe? No? Here. Offer contracts. Ilter by airlines. So we already have Forest Air. Let's find somebody else. We, well, actually, we need a lot of them, don't we? Because we have... One, two, three, four, five more stands. So I'm gonna pause this because I will assign each stand to all the new companies. Um, Trinity Aviation, kind of like it. They only one small, but let's get it. Trinity Aviation, uh, Goose Wings, for sure. Couple of small aircraft. Edwards Bay, Maple Express. Couple of small, it's perfect. So that was three. Two more. Um, Havana. It's gonna be more for longer flights, possibly. What about Fly Penguin? Yeah, Fly Penguin. So this is four. And uh, Strada Regional. Yeah, let's go with that. Strada Reg Regional. I don't know. Sounds Spanish to me. Very good, very good, very good. So very good. Now, let's assign this stand to the Fly Penguin. This one to Maple Express. This one to Strada Regional. This one to Wait, I already forgot. <laughs> okay, Forest Air, Fly Penguin, Maple, Strada. We're missing Trinity. And Goose Wings, I believe. There we go. What we should be doing also is to prettify the situation by saying uh, the Forest Logo. And be maybe. Hmm, where do I want it? Let's put it there. Okay. Then we have a uh, like penguin. Okay. So one square away. 
turn it around, put maple. Then it was Trinity. There we go. Goose wings. I think I missed. Uh... Yes, I missed one. The Strada, of course. Let's put it right here. Beautiful. And. Um... Last but not least, my penguin. Awesome. Let's resume. So this should bring in a lot of passengers. A lot of passengera. Very well. What else do we need to do? A new office for the. What is it called? Strategy Director? Staff uh, Executive? Strategy Director, exactly. So let's make a new office, I suppose, right here. Staff. Staff room. We need to delete this so that uh, we can reassign. Uh, Let's say these offices are four tiles long and three wide, so to speak. But this is going to be on, in reverse. So if this is the external wall, we're going to need four. Yes, this is the wall. So this can be. Wait. No, it's not working. What's going on here? Oh, it's staff zone. Yes, of course, uh, that's fine. But we simply need staff room there. Okay, I don't know what was happening, honestly. So back to the walls. And we're going to put one there. Yeah, let's make uh, slightly smaller offices. We don't want to overdo things too much. And with the usual odd uh, big office at the end, why not? Doors, one, two, three. Security. Oh, sorry, staff. Staff room. Two, three. So we have expansion capabilities. Terminal, we require new flooring. Um, yeah, let's put uh, this fancy mat in these two offices. So you know what? Maybe I prefer this one. Yes. And I'm going to change this floor as well. So we are the only one with the wooden floor. We require a new desk. We can put uh, right there. In this office, uh, we want to clear all types uh, and assign the strategy director. For now, we're going to clear all types uh, and clear all types as well here because we don't want anybody to go inside the, <clears throat> these new spaces and this is um, nice I might have to make a corridor here if we need to expand uh, the staff zone even more and I think uh, I am gonna buy a couple of extra desks which we're gonna put opposite these two is these guys, they also want to browse a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's go to the flight planner. What do we see? Yes, uh, the first uh, flight penguin flight will be coming in at what time? 
So what's going on tomorrow? Look at that. Strong start. We might be a little bit understaffed when it comes to the passenger operating people. Because as you can see, we have many, many stands. And two of them are locked here. So how many do we have in total? Staff, passenger service, we have four. So two are locked here. One is here and one operates uh, the stands. So we might be... Yes, I'm pretty sure that we don't have enough. So let's go to the applicants, passenger service, and let's buy a couple of very cheap. This one is quite good though. It's very cheap, but at least he has a little bit of skill. Melissa Bernasconi, welcome on board. Okay, and then uh, let's get this one as well. Greta Jankauskas. What? Greta Jankauskas. Beautiful. Welcome to the Edge of Airport. Awesome. Okay, okay, okay. What do we have here? Flight monitor. So we are not available check-in desk 48 due to all check-in desks are currently occupied by other flights. Very interesting. Therefore, let's immediately put in a new check-in desk. I guess we can put it here. Maybe even closer, but uh, no, because we might uh, need to form queues, which we should do. Build a queue. So let's go. Hmm. I think like this. And here we can go up to here. Something like this. All right. So, seating situation, not bad. Who are you? Rosen Dennis uh, from Moldova. Born in 54. Male, 94 kilos of weight. Wait, two meters and 10 centimeters. You're very tall, sir. So, do you have any special thoughts about this uh, airport? They want to go to the toilets, which is fine. This one wants to sleep a little bit, or is bored. I'm not sure what that means, actually. So this is already a little bit um, cool. Isn't it? You can also bring, uh, I mean, put in some more somewhere else. Maybe like right here. That could be a thing. I would like to use the little space for the medium stands, possibly. Or maybe just the, f the first bit, like, uh, for a little shop. That could be quite uh, cool to have in the entry of the airport. So let's take a look at the flight planner again. We are looking at tomorrow. Okay. All right. Time to do a little bit of analysis here. So we have uh, profit in the previous hour. Runway usage fee, parking fees. It's uh, the most valuable entry. Very good. When it comes to expenses, operating costs is the maintenance of everything we got. Repairs, what about staff salary? Staff salary is not that high. We do have a positive cash flow, so we don't need to worry too much, I don't think. All right, let's uh, speed up uh, a little bit so we can see the airport running. That's very good. Here is our new strategy director of the Hedgehog Airport, Samantha Lamb. Very good. You get to work. Hmm, seating uh, situation. It looks to me that it's gonna get... Uh... Oh, what's going on? The water pressure in one of our bathroom facilities has exploded and the entire room needs maintenance by service technician and janitors in order to operate again. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at that, it exploded. Very severe. Um, 
Yes, but we do have a service uh, guy and a janitor. Can you please get to work? Okay, service guy, the janitor is here. Where is the service person? There it is, all right. So, we should be fine. I've never seen this event, the bathroom exploding. Hmm, I have a feeling we're gonna need a second janitor, because uh, this airport is gonna get full very fast. I'm gonna do that preemptively. Applicants, janitors. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one. Mahesh Singh. You are hired. Okay, the queue here is quite long, but it's not too bad. Can we modify it right now? There we go. A little bit better. That's also... Uh, make this one better as well. I use the same pattern. So here it's important to finish it off like this, otherwise the entry is on this side, which doesn't make much sense to me, should be on this side. Okay, security. So far, so good. A lot of people uh, are sitting here, so maybe we should expand uh, the seating situation. So, oh, look at that, it's the fly penguin. So this one came from... Uh, I mean, he's going from Hedrick Airport to Cardiff. Cardiff should be in Wales. Yes, I think it is. Three hours flight. How is it possible that the other one that went uh, to the top of Scotland was also three hours, I believe? It's fine. I guess it's just a slower aircraft. This is a Cessna 208. Is it uh, the Grand Caravan? Maybe it is. Hard to say. Oh, what do we have here? Beechcraft. 1900D. This one I don't know. It looks familiar, but I'm not sure. Came from Durham Trees Valley Airport. Three hours flight as well. What about this one? Sub 340, we've seen that already. And came all the way from this little crazy island. The plumbing failure emergency has been resolved. 100% handled. Good job. Good job, staff. Very good. The security is not too bad. We should build a queue. In this case, we are fine with the entrance being here, I think, because people are coming from this direction. So this is a little bit more organized, not bad. What's going on with the research and development? All right, it's going quite slow. Okay. Yes, 100% completion, thank you. Today operations, we're not interested yet in these things because we have been expanding and building too much. We need a couple of days to run so that we can have a proper uh, picture of the situation. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, I don't think we have enough seating. Let's put down uh, another large one here. So that's the entrance. It feels a little bit wrong to put it too close to it. But actually, no. No. No, I've changed my mind. It's perfectly fine. Enough spacing. We do want to keep uh, the style of the airport going with the, uh, where was it, the fancy mat. Just like this. Security, it's fine. Exit is certainly fine. Everybody's sitting here. This is quite far away, isn't it? Do we have these uh, conveyor belt things? Yes, we do. The walkalator, 24, 48, 72. So this refers to the length. Yes, it does. 
Mm, I think it's a little bit overkill though, isn't it? And also if somebody enters it from uh, the long one, uh, they can't get off. So even though it looks good to use the long one, it's probably wrong. It's better to do little segments like that. And also we, should, uh, we need to put uh, two in for one for each direction. I mean, maybe... It... You know what? I, I'm gonna do an experiment. What does make sense? Uh, to have it uh, skipping one. And the other one skip this one. M maybe, maybe. L let's just try. How much is it? Oh, it's 15,000 though. Ooh, no, I don't like that. That's a little bit too much. What else can we do? I think uh, it might qu be quite uh, fun to prettify the terminal a little bit more. What about we don't we do that? Concrete, uh, light concrete, concrete tile, marble, or marble. Doors, clinker. Clinker is a tile made of uh, of uh, concrete, I believe. Mosaic. Hmm. Would uh, I start from the basics? Uh, I said we would use green as a main uh, theme. So let's. Uh, Begin by making a path uh, like that. We could simulate a little bit, you know, the official paths. Let's see how it looks. Right? We could also extend the red a little bit here, I think. Wait, that's the wrong one. Maybe... Hmm. No, it looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? What if we just extend it like that? Yes, looks better. Looks better to me. There we go. Here we should... Uh, designate uh, a little bit uh, the staff entry even though I prefer to have uh, the blue underneath the door we can continue oops with our team we're also gonna use a specific color for this uh, section Whereas all the rest can be green, with the exception of this, which I want to be the same color of uh, this one. And behind, put red. You can see that it's tough. Yeah, um, I think it's nice. I think I like it. This green can be extended here and then from this side we want something uh, neutral I think this and from for this side as well for now so this one is a little bit of a weird square but uh, I'll, I'll make something with it. I like it. I like it. Inside of the terminal, do we want to stay neutral or we, maybe we just go with... Uh, no, marble, it's too... It's too much. What do we have in the bathrooms, by the way? Not sure, but I'm not liking it too much. Yeah, let's go classic uh, tiles. 
it's fine that it's a uh, sort of concretey over there. Okay. And inside here, I suppose uh, we are fine uh, with this uh, standard greyish thing, which probably is uh, one of these, maybe. Light concrete, I suppose. Let's do a little test. No, it's slightly different. I wonder which one it is. Now I have a problem, I have to, to fix uh, that little stripe. I mean, I, I guess it's okay, it's just a little bit different at the entrance of the... At the entrance of the exit, <laughs> yes, exactly. Look at all these beautiful planes coming and going, it's fantastic. We also unlocked last time, I believe, the fuel capabilities. We're still working on this, that's fine. So maybe we should put those in. Let me remind, uh, we have the fuel depot, we have a parking that is there. The road is already, what's going on here? Flight uh, MP980 is running late at small aircraft stand 13. Do you want to delay this flight by one hour? Yes, delay it. Why is it running late? Two of them are running late. Is this a staff problem? We have a guy here. We have another one there. We have two here. This is a little bit uh, too much. Can we turn off the desk? Let's do that so that these two people, they should become available. Uh, but they need to go to the, <laughs> to the restrooms apparently, but that's fine. Yeah, I think that uh, it might be a staff problem. We'll see, we'll see. Let's just disable the desk for a second. It's uh, very early in the morning anyway. But anyway, plenty of aircraft uh, coming and going. I'm very happy. What's this one? It's the Saab 340. Beechcraft. Beechcraft. The DHC-6. The Haviland. Cool. Very cool. What about this one? Chesna Caravan. So the other one wasn't the caravan then. Very interesting. Um, I'm getting sidetracked here. There's a lot of little things to look at. Look at that. all these people using our services. This one is carrying luggage too. Oh, it's a lady, but it looks like a bald man. What's going on here? <laughs> oh well. You do your thing. You do your thing, lady. Fuel services, that's what I was thinking about. So we should have access to the small jet A1 fuel, which I suppose we should be putting somewhere here. This is gonna be quite far away from the parking. So we might want to it here instead, this little uh, section, even though I could expand the G general aviation on this side. I think we put it here. My first idea was the one I liked the most. And um, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need a specialized uh, fuel truck, I think, possibly. Let's uh, check that out. Vehicles overview, purchase, yes, the Jet A1 fuel truck. So order one. Oh. Okay. Maybe we can dismiss the contractors. Well, that depends uh, on what we want to do next. Uh, let's keep them around, let's keep them around have our little options open. Should I extend this color up to this wall? No, I don't think so. It is a little bit weird. If we put a plant there or something, it's gonna be fine. So let's try and do that. <laughs> okay. The great uh, prettification of the airport has begun. <laughs> 
Nice little fern. There we go. Vending machines. That's something we can. Uh, we already have access to, I believe, don't we? Statues, statues by the way. Do we want to put in a nice little statue? Statue of a bottle. It would be strange. Maybe it's meant to be used uh, with uh, decoration or just uh, Christmas stuff. It's meant to be used with uh, the cafes and the restaurants and whatnot. So the vending machine is not there, but it is here. We have drinks and food. So what about... We put one in here. Which one was it? I forgot. God. Which one is it? I see bottles. Oh, we need the food. Okay. There we go. We're gonna immediately go to the economy tab and take advantage of the fact that we can uh, tweak with the fees and say that uh, uh, vending machine markup already quite high, but yeah. 5.2%. That's a reasonable amount, I think. A couple of vending machines there. And uh, probably also inside here. Yeah, you know what we can do? We can think about future structures on this side of the terminal. Yeah, I think that that's what uh, we're going to do next. We're just going to make sure that we have... Uh, infrastructure you know i mean the walls basically the doors to make new toilets and restaurants and little shops a little uh, nook for the vending machine but uh, for now i'm very happy with what we have been doing today we don't seem to have uh, too many uh, too many problems bear runway yes i done it what about this one it's fine for now we have uh, enough staff it seems the question is whether we should hire some more but i'm not getting any new notifications of problems besides this one visual check-in desk for this flight is currently blocked by another flight so i suppose we do require another check-in so let's do that as our final move for this episode Check-in desk, there we go. Three tiles away. So let's build this one real fast. Come on, contractors. Okay, there they come. What's wrong with you? An employee can't reach their designated job site. Make sure it's accessible through walls and zones. Hmm, very suspicious. Like this, 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 this. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But here you go. A nice, busy airport with six airlines with designated stands running uh, more or less uh, very smoothly. Prettification of the terminal also has been done. New executive has been hired. Crisis of the bathroom has been solved. Vending machines have been added. We are looking good. Very good. So this is going to be it for this episode. I hope you liked it and uh, if you did, uh, consider subscribing and liking the video and uh, the old shebang. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.